Hello, welcome to this presentation. Today I'm going to show you how to create and install wall mountable outdoor advertising billboard using Tecla Structures custom components. I'm Maurice Dimba. Join me in this presentation. If you take a look on the screen here, I have a dummy, a dummy wall that will help us in uh, installing this particular uh, billboard, especially applicable for uh, digital advertising. Now, normally, instead of creating these components, if you normally create them uh, frequently, it's always advisable you create them, you create all a, a number of them that you've been using uh, frequently and save them on your Tecla Structures library so that whenever one is, is requested, you just pull and, uh, and bring it to to your model or uh, bring it up inside this window and you'll be able to generate drawings out from them now in this particular case we are going to create advertising uh, i mean outdoor advertising billboard especially for digital advertising and uh, i'm going to um, i'm going to applications and component here this is where i created that particular structure that will be holding uh, the di the digital screens that will be displaying the advertisements uh, for various for various advertiser advertisers. Remember each and every. Remember this particular st uh, structure for digital advertising. Uh, it can comprise or it can uh, uh, a number of advertisers can display their products here maybe uh, uh, per second now this is the structure that hold uh, that particular string you see on the wall or on top of the roofs now i did this so i'll just double click here and you'll, you'll be able to see the screen here a small dialog box here uh, written tecla structures billboard i created this component just to make my work easier when creating this particular billboard if one requests for that now now it cuts down my modeling time when I want to create uh, a structure similar to that. So if I want to create a, a structure similar to that, I'll just use this one and modify it further to meet other requirements of the same kind. Now I'll close this and uh, if I mouse over this screen, you will be able to see my my cursor is active. And if you read at the bottom end here, you can see it's being requested or you're being requested to identify a position where you intend to place that particular object you see on the screen here. So I want to place it somewhere here and uh, let me come back again. I, I have already did this and uh, I included this inside my check structure library because uh, uh, it seems to be I, re I use, I create this particular model frequently. So instead of doing the same thing repeatedly just create the same component and save it inside your library so whenever you need it to just pull it in now i want to place this particular uh, structure on uh, on a dummy wall here you can see i want to place it somewhere here let first of all identify that, that spot and stretch all the way and I want to locate this particular uh, spot here. Let me just zoom close and I'll snap right there. So I'll give it some time to load that particular object. If you take a look closer, uh, we've identified the location and uh, pointed on the location we are to place our uh, billboard. Now here it is. So I'll just go ahead and right click and come to interrupt, terminate that. Uh, command so I'll right click once again and uh, click to redraw to refresh everything to remove any signs of active macro so you can see our billboard is already on uh, already placed on the wall but not all anchor bolts are are, uh, are engraved or uh, in uh, fixed on the wall so this normally very easy to 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 place and it's it, it is just a matter of shifting it to uh, the best or uh, ideal position so i'll select on it then come to move here i'll come to move and uh, just pick it from this position and drag it slowly or somewhere here 
or somewhere here and I'll place it right there. There it is and we'll try to check it and it is already in place so it normally takes time to, 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 to copy uh, the whole of this structure. Now the simplest way to, 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 to move or locate it, you can either move the wall or, uh, or if you're comfortable with shifting the whole component because it takes a lot of time for the structure to read and position all these uh, components in their respective positions. Now the simplest way you just drag this dummy wall to position itself properly with the whole structure. So you see how simple it is if you create your own components and save them or include them inside your Tecla structure library so that it saves you time. It's very important when in design and modeling uh, structures. So the commonly used uh, components try and uh, create them and uh, save them inside your Tecla structure library. So you use that environment to create similar uh, uh, similar structures or components. So in this particular case, I, cr I, I created this and uh, I, I, by, by any chance somebody requests this, I'll be able just to pull it and, and place it inside this environment and I'll be able to create the drawings of this particular component as easy as, uh, as, easy as you see it on the screen. So creating a drawing will take you around maybe 5 to 20 minutes and you're done and you'll be able to submit the requested drawing for discussion. Now, uh, I'll, I'll still move this so that I position it uh, properly. So I'll, I'll come here, I'll just select the wall here and come to special move. I'll pick on the move, then I'll zoom out and come and check my XYZ axis and I want to shift it or move it in the opposite direction of X axis. So I'll come on X axis and feed in a 10, 10 millimeter and prefix my dimension with a negative sign. So I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and click move step by step. Move this step by step and uh, position it into a b the best position uh, here and I'll click OK. Maybe somewhere there will be OK. I'll click OK. Now I want to uh, shift the, I want to uh, take, the, uh, take it up slightly by doing the same thing. I right click and come to special move and click linear. Now, in this particular case, I'll copy the same dimension here. I'll cut it and, and paste it under uh, under Z axis here. But in, in, uh, in this uh, in this particular case, we are moving in the in the in the, the uh, in the right direction of the axis. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this negative sign of uh, in uh, prefixing this uh, 10 millimeter. Uh, dimension so i'll go ahead and click move and uh, just click repeatedly so that uh, as you click you see and you'll be able to to judge whether that is appropriate uh, distance now it's not the best and uh, what we are going to do we are going to just to bring it back just undo and uh, it will come back to its position somewhere there and that will be okay so we leave it on that spot and that's how it looks and I'll go ahead and minimize that I'll come here and uh, come to view I'll come to navigate I'll be able to rotate this so you see this the front end here this is the this is where you install the screen get installed uh, the specialist in installing the screen you uh, are you are you are your job is just to provide the structure that will be holding the screen that will be displaying all the digital information to whoever passing by and be able to respond to the information given on this billboard. So this is the structure that will be holding that screen. So in, in other cases you find uh, the structure is double. Uh, th there's another one on this end and uh, normally that one is normally possible on uh, on uh, rooftops not wall this a wall mountable uh, billboard structure so this is how it looks we have a ladder here so another way if uh, you're comfortable or you're interested in this particular model uh, pr uh, please uh, try and visit uh, several marks you'll be able to download um, 
we have many a, a lot of uh, buildings uh, parts of frame trusses any kind of uh, steel structural building and uh, uh, architectural building if you don't find anything just place in a request and we uh, will be able to do and uh, post it there and you'll be able to download it, download it from there or you can just send it to you directly now this is how it looks and i'll come to navigate and be able to turn it like that and this is how it looks so try and do that to simplify your your process in modeling to trim down your modeling time it's key because time is money and uh, money is time so this is how it looks thanks a lot for watching watching this video i'm Maurice dimba and please try this wherever you will be and be safe stay home thank you and bye bye let's meet on the next presentation i'm Maurice dimba and if this is your first video to bump into don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, the more you subscribe the more you motivate for the uh, tutorials uh, production and let's meet then bye bye i'm Maurice dimba once again and be safe stay home